us hand in YouTube. Another wild situation. Let's get into this. What's handing with my folks, man? What's good with my peoples? How y'all doing? This is a topic that's been going around lately. It made the headlines. It came across my feed numerous times from numerous different channels. I got my subscribers telling me to touch on this topic. And it's cool. You know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to get into this right now. We're going to talk about the Bocho, Bocho Live podcast, the food community, the other dudes, you know, Cholo One and all that, right? We're going to dive into this. The cheese man, the gossip, all that. You guys want to talk about it? Well, then let's talk about it, homie. You guys want to talk about it? Then let's talk about it. But first, make sure y'all hit that like button and tap that subscribe button, man. For all those that subscribed already, I appreciate y'all. Salute. For those of you guys that don't know who Bocho is, Bocho, Bocho Live Podcast. You guys, go subscribe to his channel. He's from Santa Rosa, Northerner. He ended up making life-changing decisions, going to college, getting a job, starting a career, moved out of town, and just doing great for himself, which is really dope. Like, you feel me? That's cool. See, what I want to talk about is what other dudes are saying on here. Like, you got individuals that are on YouTube that have no right, that have no say-so on what a dropout is, right? You got dudes that wouldn't even last a fucking hour in a Norteño's pair of boots, homie. You know what I'm saying? Talking about drop out this, drop out that. You don't know that struggle, bro. You know what I'm saying? You don't know the struggle of a Norteño, homie. That, that struggle's real. You mother, you wouldn't last a day in a pair of Norteño boots, homie. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking to the dudes that don't even gangbang. The dudes that are on YouTube making videos and calling other dudes. Like, bro, who are you? Like, what, what are you talking about? Like... You know, not even part of that lifestyle, my boy. But I guess it comes with it. It's YouTube, right? Anybody get on here and say whatever they want. It is what it is, right? That's just that's just my two cents of it. Why Pocho got fired from food community? I don't know. I, go ask him, homie. Go ask him yourself. Pocho Live Podcast, that's his channel. Go ask him. Now, what I don't agree with is the after fact saying, oh, he got fired because he's a dropout. He got fired. How is he a dropout? I don't know to do. I don't know his struggle. I don't know. Bocho, I know him from YouTube, and I communicate with him. I talk to the homie. He's a good dude. He's been solid with me ever since I've been in communication with him, and, you know, that's that. Now, for those that are saying this dude's all bad because he wanted to do better for his life, this dude's all bad because he made a decision to go to college to, to better himself, his life, and his family's life, his daughter's life, he's a, he's a piece of shit for, doing, for going to college? You motherfuckers are ass backwards, homie. Like, straight up, my boy. Like, come on, my nigga. Like, who raised you niggas, homie? Who's your big homies? Who is your big dogs? Who the fuck put you niggas on? The homie went to college, so now he's a piece of shit? The homie started, uh, went and got a job, started a career, moved out of town, got the fuck out the hood? Now he's a piece of shit for doing what the fuck we all want to do? Went and got a good-ass career, doing great for itself, got a degree? He's a He's a dropout? For being successful? So you telling me the homies a dropout for being successful? You niggas is retarded as fuck. Like, straight up. Like, that's the dumbest shit I done ever heard on YouTube. When it comes to these gang politics shit or whatever the fuck you niggas want to call it. Hell of, and half you niggas don't even know what a dropout is. How can you drop out of something you ain't never dropped into? You know what I'm saying? Like, half you niggas be on here just talking. Just to talk. And you don't even know what you're talking about. Just shut the fuck up, homie. You know what I'm saying? Stay in your line, bro. This, this lane over here, it ain't for you. It ain't even for me. Because I'm not even trying to go back into that lane. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be on YouTube or real life. My nigga, we all trying to not go back to prison. We all trying to stay the fuck out of jail. We all trying to stay away from them politics. And you niggas got the nerve to say somebody's a dropout because he went to college? Because he made life-changing decisions to better his family and his daughter's life? What the fuck is... Who put you niggas on? I want to meet your big homies. If you even got big homies, if you're from a hood, wherever you niggas are from i want to meet your big homies because i need to have a word with these niggas like this is the little niggas you raising and you niggas ain't even little y'all grown as fuck but i don't want to talk to y'all because y'all 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 young minded still y'all still stuck in a dumbass mentality homie let me talk to your big dogs 
Let me talk to your older homies. Somebody got to have some sense around that motherfucker. The purpose of being an Orteño is to better ourselves, homie. To uplift our people. To better our gente. Not to keep our motherfucking people back, homie. Not to go 10 steps back when we've been trying to go one step forward. Come on, you motherfuckers are dumb, bro. We should try, we should be trying to inspire the homies, the, especially the young homies, to go to college. We should be inspire the young homies to go start a career. You know what I'm saying? So they can maybe one day come back and, and help the other homies out. Give these homies jobs. Teach them what they learned in college. Maybe they don't got the funds to go to college, but they can teach the other homies what they learn. You know, Bocho gets down with the camera and all that, right? He's good at editing and doing all this software shit. Maybe he can go back and teach motherfuckers that shit. Go and teach the homies that so they could also learn that shit. I just find it real dumb, homie, and real ignorant of these motherfuckers on YouTube saying drop out this or drop out that because the homie decided to go to college. Because the homie made it out the hood. The homie is doing bigger and better things. Motherfucker, ain't that what we all want to do? Huh? Ain't that what we all inspire to do? Get out the hood. Take our families out the hood. Start a career. Get some more money. Stack up more money. And anybody that's, that goes back to the hood, homie, to try and help the hood, I salute 100%. 100 times salute, homie. There's nothing wrong with that, bro. Trying to uplift the young homies. Trying to uplift the young life, homie. So they don't go back and follow the same fucking path that we did, bro. What the fuck is wrong with you niggas? What's wrong with, what, what's wrong with doing that? You want the hood to stay the hood fucking forever? You want the next generation to lose homies just like we lost homies? You want the next generation to go to prison just like we went to prison? Huh? You want them niggas to lose fathers, mothers, daddies, aunties, uncles, sisters? To fucking gun violence? To dope? Drugs? You want them to go through that same shit? Then you ain't a righteous motherfucker, homie. If you want the hood to continue to go through the same shit you did, you ain't a righteous motherfucker, homie. A righteous individual is gonna try to uplift his people, homie. A righteous individual individual is gonna try to reach out to his young homies and teach them something. Try to put a book in their hand. Try to put the blueprint in their hand. Be like, look, little homie, maybe school ain't for you, but look, I got this job over here. They hiring. Whoop de whoop whoop. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, help you get your forklift driver's license. Help you learn, uh, you feel me, how to work that camera, how to, how to learn software editing. You feel me, to do these videos, to maybe shoot music videos, whatever it is. Get your truck driver's license. Something, homie. Something. But for a motherfucker to talk down on somebody that's trying to do that, that's some whole ass shit in my book, bro. And that just shows me what type of, what type of mindset these dudes have, bro. That shows me what type of mindset these individuals have, my nigga. They, 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 they ain't the type of niggas I want in my circle. You feel me? I want, I want some niggas that's winning around me. I want homies that's that's gonna get it. I want homies that's getting it. You feel me? Positive motherfuckers, uh, business minded, money motivated, hungry. Even though we got it, we want more. You know what I'm saying? And we are gonna teach yours to get more too. And if you ain't like that, then stay out of my circle. You feel me? That's that's just in life. I had to get this off my chest, homie, because um. Uh, me seeing these different videos, especially not even from the dudes that are gang related. Well, them dudes too that have gang, you know, gang related, go on IG, talk this and that, whatever the case is. But these dudes that ain't even affiliated on YouTube talking nonsense about our struggle. Like, you don't know nothing about our struggle, homie. Keep off, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just my two cents, homie. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. It's the kid and I'm gone.